Hi, I'm Sheila Gregory. I'm the principal of Kathleen Middle School, and we have the first week in the books post-tornado. Week has gone smoothly. Our kids are back to what they do best, learning. We've had no major hiccups this week, and as thank to, thanks to everybody in the district, in, to, in the uh, Kathleen community, and we just we don't know what to say to express how we feel about all the overwhelming support that we've been getting. Today we just had a busload of supplies brought in from Citrus Connection and the VFW. I'm at a loss for words, quite honestly, and if anybody knows me, I am never without a loss of words. I love to talk. But when I look at all of this that has been brought in, and this is just a piece of what's been brought in so far, the monetary contributions, just the help, the people coming here, what can I do? Help, they're helping us lift boxes. We had to strip the main building, and it took a community to do that. Words don't describe. I mean, I got home at night and just thank God every day that I'm Kathleen, I'm here, um, and everybody's there with us. Our students keep their supplies in the classroom. There are notebooks and everything, because we want to make sure they're here for them every day that they come on campus. They lost a lot of those in the tornado. Our supply closet was uh, decimated. This classroom's losing all the supplies. So this is replenishing what they need to be successful in the classrooms right now. All this, the, the community out, out uh, support has been great, uh, especially on the Facebook. We have parents trying to donate, uh, uh, community organizations trying to donate, and it, it's come together very quickly. Uh, I'm on Facebook answering parents and community organizations 9, 10 p.m. at night trying to get this together. And it, I, I'd say this this is motivation for me to come to work. You know, I grant the tornado hit, but this, this helps motivate us. So I'm Tom Phillips, the Executive Director of the Citrus Connection, and we're excited to be able to bring a busload of materials here. And I've got Bev and Helen with me today from VFW Post 8154, and they answered the call and donated thousands of dollars worth of uh, supplies to the students of Kathleen. Uh, we service the Kathleen area in public transportation, and we know they were hit hard by the tornado and want to help out. So on behalf of the Citrus Connection, we thank you very much. As a token of our appreciation, we've got you a customized bus stop uh, that you can go ahead and hang up in your VFW hall. And this is a letter from the Lakeland Area Mass Transit District Board of Directors that's signed by Philip Walker, who is our chairman and also is uh, represents the Kathleen area. And on behalf of the citizens of the Kathleen area, we thank you very much for your donations. We are proud to partner with you on this event. Thank you. Thank you. So we're the public transportation provider for all of Polk County, but specifically the Kathleen area as well. And uh, our, our 188 employees live and work in the Kathleen area. And Billy Gray, our electronics uh, maintenance manager, has two children who go to the Kathleen area. And Lisa Harris is very active in the VFW. She's our procurement director. And they were both in my office on Monday morning after the event had hit, asking what they could do to help the community. And so this Stuff the Bus event was something that, that we thought would be a good idea to help out the community that we serve. We have uh, students who ride the bus to and from uh, school and other activities, and, and we've heard firsthand the impact uh, that this event has had for them. I'm originally from the Midwest, and so I know that the tornadoes can be a very scary and traumatizing thing. This was a completely 100% employee-driven activity. Uh, Ms. Lisa Harris and Ms. Billy Gray uh, in our department said that they wanted to do something, so it was an employee-driven uh, activity, so these were donated supplies. And then the VFW uh, donated almost $1,800 uh, worth of these supplies that you see here today. So it would not have been a big of a success. We truly were the backbone uh, of, of this event as were our employees. Well, Lisa Harris is a member of our auxiliary, and she's is worked very hard, and she just asked us, and you know, our president came through, and here we are. Well, it feels good because that's what you know we do in our community is to help. We have to help our veterans, and you know, there's a lot of veterans who probably have children in these schools that have lost, and we just give back. 
That's what was supposed to do, help our veterans and community.